Why did we choose Sardinia and why did we invest in real estate here of all the beautiful places we could pick around the world? That's one of the common questions that we get. And I've done a long video about how I got into real estate, etc., and you know, some of the reasons, but I thought I'd do a short video to answer that question. And you know, a lot of people ask us, you know, why here and why not Tuscany, why not Sicily, and things like that. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some of the reasons quite quickly about why we chose as a real estate investment, but also also for style style of of life to come to this most incredible, beautiful island here in the Mediterranean, Sardinia. So if you're ready, here we go. All right, well, the first reason for me is obvious. I mean, look at this. Do you know how many places in the world have this type of turquoise water, these type of beaches? I mean, Sardinia has some of the most beautiful beaches, I'm sorry, in the world, definitely in the Mediterranean, but you know, you see some of the photos, and you're like, wait, is that the Caribbean? Is that the Maldives? No, it's Sardinia. It's not like there's one beach, two beaches. Some places have beautiful beaches, but you have to drive 45 minutes to the next one. Actually, this is 30 minutes from where we invested, but you know, 10 minutes further, you got Santa Teresa de Galura, beautiful beach. Another one, and another one, just all these beaches around. And like, if you don't want to trust me that this is beautiful and unique, right behind those rocks, there. That's where they filmed the new Disney, Ariel, the Little Mermaid. I mean, they could go anywhere in the world. They could pick any location for a beautiful beach, beautiful water, beautiful scenery. And where did they pick Sardinia? They picked this beach. Incredible. So really, and if you look, there's a map that shows all the beaches all the way around the island and it's crazy i mean just go and google like most beautiful beaches of sardinia and you'll just be blown away but what i like also is that you know it's green all year round you know some places if you go like in the south of spain you know again it's beautiful but it gets burnt out it gets gray and you know here all year round it's green so it never just kind of grays out so you get these contrasts of colors so, and it's so beautiful, you get these little villages, towns, beaches, etc. So, number one reason is absolute beauty. Second reason is uh, the size, in fact. When we're comparing, like we went to Sicily, and the island is huge, and you want to drive around to different parts, and you know, it's an hour and a half, two hour drive. When we did a trip to check out real estate there, we completely got it wrong in terms of the distances. We were like, oh, we'll go here, we'll go here, and then suddenly it's a two and a half hour drive. And uh, Sardinia, you know, in two and a half, three hours, you're from the south to the north, and you can get to so many places, and we love it that, you know, right by our house, we can get to all these beaches and all these beautiful places. All right, the next reason, which is important, is costs. So we're looking at different places. You looked at, for instance, Portugal, looked at Croatia, uh, Menorca, you know, the Baric Islands, just lots of different places. Say, one other place in the sun, one other place by water. And, um, you know, I thought Sardinia would be crazy priced. And we also looked at uh, Sicily. In fact, there's a lot of comparisons between Sardinia and Sicily. Uh, and, um, in fact, I was surprised that the prices weren't higher. And I'm on all these mailing lists and I get these emails uh, of properties for sale. And I'm still amazed sometimes. I see something pop up, I'm like, wow, that's a really good deal. When I talk about a good deal, I'm looking at the comps. I'm looking at the location, what there is to do, how beautiful it is. And I'm comparing to South of France, I'm comparing to places in Italy. I'm comparing even to Port Portugal. Like if you wanna have something with sea view in Portugal and also some of the developments, etc. And we actually thought, you know, when we looked and we, we saw many options of lots. Actually right now, uh, the builder we're working with on the house here, um, he showed us this crazy lot. It's 30,000 square meters, beautiful views of, you know, just mountains and valleys, etc. all green. And it's 150,000 euros and you can build a 200 square meter house. That's actually really, really reasonable. Uh, now, some of you might say, yes, I know. In other, there's parts of the world you can buy a lot cheaper, but we're in Italy on an island and you're like 20, 30 minutes to all these beaches. So in fact, cost-wise, so one of the reasons we chose Sardinia was cost of living was good, cost of food, cost of restaurants, and cost of real estate. And that was super important. The next reason is, and uh, you know, there's a quietness here. Like the rhythm, you just, it's not, you know, there's some places in the world, just because there's so much on the, on the tourist track, you get slammed. Some cities in Italy, you go, there's just so many people. Now, if you like that, if you want the, the vibe, the busyness, the, the streets packed, well, don't come to Sardinia. But uh, we love the, you know, if we come here, we want to be at a different rhythm. We want to disconnect. And our friend Patricia here is funny. She uh, went back to uh, Geneva uh, in Switzerland. She just said, oh my gosh, how do people do this? It's like the rat race. Everybody's stressed. Everybody's like, oh, you know, and it's true. 
And she says, I, I had to get out. I had to come back here. And she has her two beautiful dogs. She goes for walks. It's just a different rhythm. It depends what you want. For me, after COVID, I just realized like the power of being in nature, the power of disconnecting, the power of going to a beautiful place and getting away from that frantic, getting into nature, you know, going to the sea, going for a hike, going for a bike ride. Like for me, that's just so powerful in how I feel. It's like I come here and my energy level rises up. I have like this, wow, how I feel inside. I mean, maybe you'll hear it in my voice. I come here and I'm like a kid. I'm like, look at this. I mean, I've never been to this beach right here. I'm discovering every time I come. Look, just, just look around. It's crazy. I mean, look at the speech behind me. Ha! Huh. Anyways, uh, so there's this quietness, this peacefulness here that, um, you know, it is, you don't find so many places. And in fact, you know, it's, it's also for me, like if we compare to Sicily, it's just so much cleaner. You know, I, I find the, the houses, the little towns are better maintained. It also feels a bit better. Some places we've been to looking at around, you know, different countries in the Mediterranean, ah, they feel a bit run down or the buildings are on top of each other. And you just, I don't know the vibe. I love what's beautiful. I mean, I'm, I do videos and people laugh and put comments that I've count, you know, they count the number of times I say beautiful or stunningly beautiful, but I love nature. I love beautiful places. And Sardinia is just stunning in terms of how beautiful it is. But anyways, that was point number one. I went completely off track. So, but the quietness, the peacefulness is amazing here. All right, next one is uh, the culture. You know, it's important to consider if you look at different countries around the world, kind of the culture. And for me, there's something magical about the Italian culture. There's a warmth, there's a, you know, like we say in French, bon vivant, they want to enjoy life. And, you know, you go on terraces in the evening, you can just hear it. You know, there's this liveliness. It's just so nice. People are so friendly. And there's places in the world where, you know, the culture is just more, more cold or you can't connect. Here you go, you sit down, I was sitting down last night, start talking, you know, to the, to the waiter. And he's like, oh, I worked in Switzerland. I worked here, worked there, you know, after 20 minutes, you're kind of exchanging, already exchanging emails. That's really nice. Like if you're going to go somewhere and live somewhere or, or have a second home somewhere, I find that the culture culture, uh, you know, of the place is so important. The next reason is um, food. Okay, it, it, you don't have to be a foodie, but Italian food, uh, I mean, I love Italian food and like you get fresh seafood, you know, you have just amazing pizzas, the pastas, you know, the salads, the just all the rest. And, you know, I'm always amazed uh, when I go out, you know, I always find, you know, there's some foods in the world where it's hard to pick. Here in Italy, I could pretty much take anything on the menu and uh, it's amazing. The next reason is actually there's two international airports and there's pretty good access. Now it's not the best. You'd have better access if you take really the big airports. Uh, you know, if you're looking like Tuscany, you have Pisa, you know, you got Florence, much better access. And here the reality is if you're coming like in the winter, like for us, we're in the north, Olbia, most of the direct flights from mainland, from Switzerland, from Paris, from the different places kind of get cut off. So you could have to fly through Roma and then into, but from like April, May until September, October, you got direct flights. So it's actually pretty good access. That was key for us, but it's not just the access, the distance then. I always say, if you're going to fly somewhere, you're going to go from a long weekend, you don't want to then have to drive four hours. I kind of say that maximum an hour and a half from the airport drive to your secondary home. Otherwise, you're spending too much time. For us, it's amazing. We land in Olbia, it's a 45 minute drive and we're at our property, we're at the house, 45 minutes. So you can, you know, arrive late on Sunday night, boom, grab a rental car, head up there. And for me, that's super important. So well, I hope that explains why we decided to make the crazy move and invest on this beautiful island in Sardinia to have our dream home here. Got lots of videos about the project, what we're doing, the experience of building a home in Italy. So if you're interested to hear more about our adventures in real estate in Italy and Sardinia, but also in other places like in Montenegro. We've got a bunch of projects there. Well, make sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and you'll be sure to see us in a future video. Thank you.